got done talking about something serious. So, something to make us all feel better if I decide to post a serious video first. I mean, I know this wouldn't exactly make us all feel better. There are some people who are still begging for a season 3, even though it's like, how many years later? F 4 years later? 4 years, right? Um, yeah, some people are still begging for that. But this is not what that video is, this video is about. It's not as serious as the video I just finished, but it's going to be highly opinionated. So, and it's about ships. So, if you for some reason have a ship that's very controversial, for bleh, controversial, I can never say that word right. Anyways, y'all know what I mean. Um... Well, then you should probably expect some backlash. So, if you're okay with getting that here, then, yeah, we'll be fine. Alright. So, here we go. I didn't have the tabs open. I'm kind of doing this, like, on the moment when I think about it, like, spontaneously. So, which ship should we do first? Mm -hmm. Going through all the ships in my head. Let's just do the one that is the most controversial, and for some reason, no reason I know of, the most popular. Yep, you all see what I'm typing in. I don't understand, personally. Also, I did another video like this on another channel when I didn't know how to screen record, so that's why I'm doing it kind of again. A lot less planned though this time. So, yeah. Um, so that, the goal of that other video was to, was to tell, was to basically just say and figure out who actually worked the best with Dipper logically. Like, literally logically. Like, this doesn't, Build it, it doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I don't understand why it's so popular. I'm pretty sure not even the artist who drew Human Bill had this intention at all. And I like Tomko from Star Versus, and I still don't understand this. So I can't say he's a demon, and that's why I don't ship it. The species, no, I can't exactly say that. But his human form isn't canon. And I noticed some people, like, they won't say that they like, they won't say that they like the fan version. They'll just say, I like Build It. Build Up is the best ship in Gravity Falls. I even had an argument with someone once, and they were like, I was like, okay, if you should build up fan, fan, fan and Lee, and they were like, no. And I was like, uh, <laughs> that's not okay. Um, not okay. Even, most people listen to the creator and they're respectful, right? But look. Everyone lost their shit when they saw this. Where? Well, yeah, everyone lost their shit at this too. But that's not what I was looking for. Triggering warning, maybe. Oh, uh, ew. This is what this is what Alex said was the real bill. That's so disturbing. That's disgusting. He wants Bill to be seen as old and the demon that no one wants to be. No, no one wants that demon to step on them. It would have been fun if it was something like this, but un unfortunately Gravity Falls isn't an anime, so no. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. And Bill, I think Bill even says, or it's been confirmed, that he is very old. And you can't make it work the way you did with 
Tom and Marco or Marceline and Bubblegum. It doesn't work the same. The age thing here matters. I'm sorry. Um, it also just, I, I people who ship this as in like, and then hate on other ships, like that makes no sense. I've seen people who ship this and are like, oh, Dipsifica is stupid. Dipsifica doesn't make any sense. Like, what do you mean Dipsifica doesn't make any sense? It sure makes more sense than this. You can ship this fandomly and that's fine with me. But if you're trying to ship this or that with a 12-year-old boy, I or with a 12-year-old girl, let's talk, like, not let's not talk about it. I don't really want to talk more about this. But Maybill, it's the same thing. Bill Dip is just gay. <laughs> but it's the same thing. Gay or straight, neither one is good. Or neither one, yeah, neither one is good. <laughs> Keep it to the fan, to the fan base. And also... Please, please age him down if you're going to ship the fan-made character. That's what, that's what Hugh and Bill basically is. He's a fan-made character. Y'all should make him shorter and make... Well, not, well, unless you're making an older dipper. If you're going to ship this, you better do it right. Make either him shorter or dipper older. Yeah. Because this is kind of gross. I've seen a lot of adult human bill with Kid Dipper, and that's really creepy. Like, that's not okay. Anyways, let's be gone with that. <laughs> and yes, we still have to look at the terrible ships. This is going to be the most disturbing one, I assure you. Um, I was going to say because, but I don't even know why. I mean, there are other disturbing ships, but let's not talk about those. I'm basically doing what I did in the other video, who works the best with Dipper, most logically, because people be shipping Dipper with literally everyone. I don't want to go to images for this. I may have spelled this wrong, but good, good. Look, I think I did spell this wrong. <laughs> yeah, I definitely spelled it wrong. I don't remember how to spell it, but you guys know what I meant to type in. This is disgusting. I don't understand why you would ship a brother and a sister together. Ew. Literally, ew. I don't respect people who ship this. No, I don't care if you ship it fanonly either. That doesn't make any sense. All right. Are you saying, if they weren't related, I would ship them? You know who you sound like? If you think that? You sound like Trump when he said, if my daughter wasn't my daughter, then blah 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 blah. I don't remember the exact line, but I think we all remember that moment. And it was disturbing. And his poor daughter must feel so, must have felt so uncomfortable. That poor girl. I would not want to be her. I feel so bad for her. I feel bad for everyone who's involved with Trump. Like, those poor people. <laughs> um, anyways, this is just messed up. They're your brother and sister. They're like best friends. And it's just so wrong to take nice sibling moments and p put them as romantic. Listen, I know it's hard to see siblings as having a actual good relationship, but it can be normal. It can be normal. I know even Stan mentions you guys get along better than you should, but that doesn't give you an excuse to make it romantic. It's not romantic. If, I don't know if Trump has ever, Trump, oh my god, I am so, so sorry. Alex, I'm so sorry. I was just talking about Trump before, so it's easy. I'm talking about adults, I'm just mixing everyone up. It's because I talked about Stan and that one episode, Stan train candidate. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> but okay, I am so I'm so sure that if Alex had gotten 
was told about pine cyst. I don't think he has been, but if he was told about pine cyst, I'm sure he'd look at you disgusted and want to either move on or have a whole speech saying things about how pine cyst is disgusting, not a thing, never will be. So let's not do that and let's not make fans of the show feel uncomfortable, especially fans who are twins. Especially them. Please, keep away from Pine Cyst. <laughs> Alright, let's get into some not as disturbing shipping territory, but you might find it a little disturbing. I don't find it disturbing. Most This is definitely not as disturbing as the first two. Okay, so the only thing disturbing you might find is an age gap, but if you actually think about it, their heights are so, like, incorrect. No offense, Alex Hirsch, I love you and your and the content you have created for us for Gravity Falls, the content that is Gravity Falls, thank you, but these heights are unacceptable. <laughs> When, hold on. The heights are really unacceptable. Is this right? Ew, that's a creepy image. Did not mean to press on that one. See, that's one of the bad things. You go to one of the less, the, the one of the nicer ships. And you'll see yourself finding people making disturbing images of it because they keep their, like, sexualizing girls. They always sexualize their girls' girl characters. And they always make the guys into creepers. And But usually the people who do that are the creepy guys. We'll be talking about this ship in a, in a bit. Um, here's one. That's some nice art. But you see, like, these heights? Like, that's... He's 12 and she's 15. He's not 10, like I thought when I was watching this show, and she's not 18. They look like they're 10 and 18. But they're 12 and 15. That age gap isn't even that big. And at the end of the summer, he turns 13. I had a Grady Falls birthday when I was 12 and my sister was 15. We didn't have this height. The, this incredible height difference. The, the, the crazy height difference. It's not realistic. What all? What all? <laughs> Whatsoever at all. <laughs> um, it's not our. It's not our height. Let's go back to what I was trying to find. Um, where is it? I'm not sure if I can find it again. But I know a while ago I looked up their birthdays. Um, Wendy's year is, sorry, I thought I saw something. <laughs> Wendy's year is 1997, and Dipper's year is 1999, meaning they're not even three years apart, they're two years apart. That's barely anything. Now, I know, I don't ship this, actually. I don't. It's not one of my ships, but it's not disturbing, and I can tolerate it, and I've seen, like, cute things with them. Um, yeah, let's just go back here. Like, oh my god, this art's really cute. Also, I just love the art in general. Like, yeah, if you got older, it definitely could be a thing. Um, the one of the reasons I don't ship it personally is because I actually headcanon Wendy as a lesbian. I like to headcanon that she's only into girls, and I like to headcanon that be because. I like to headcanon that her relationship with guys um, purposely, like, didn't work out. Like, like I know what some of you guys are going to say, but she was interested in guys. She dated Robbie. First of all, Robbie's ugly. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> no offense. Robbie ugly. Um, but, like... Just I, I don't I don't see her as a straight. I don't. I really don't. I don't see her as a straight at all. 
And, like, here's something that some gay people go through. Because there's no one or nothing to tell them that they're gay or that you can be gay, they'll be in heterosexual relationships. No, this came in a whole other video, huh? Came to be a whole other video. Oh, well. The more you know, the more you, the more you learn, the more you know. <laughs> um, so that's what I think happened with her. I really don't think um, her relationships with guys were that genuine. I think she dated guys and thought she liked them, but then, like, discovered something else about herself. Like, I think I mentioned Star vs. already and Tom Co. Um, think about Jackie. In that last... I know some people like her as bi, and I did too, until Jackie was like... Uh, we just... She was like, what? The, what is it that she said? Um... Something about Paris, and... I learned a lot about myself, and we just weren't a good match. Like, how do you connect those two lines without it meaning, turns out I'm a lesbian? I don't understand how you can see that any other way. I'm, I'm just saying. Wendy and Jackie are lesbians. <laughs> Jackie was gonna be bi, and they were like, you know what? She's a lesbian. <laughs> She's a lesbian with a bisexual haircut. My best friend. Um, but yeah. So, I tolerate it. Not my ship. I think this girl is a lesbian. And if I can edit this, I'll put a rainbow over her. Um, yeah. And ew, I hate these kind of comics. They're gross. <laughs> I, just really quick, I really hate when they make girls fighting over Dipper. Especially in these kind of comics. They creep me out a lot. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. This creeps me out, too. I don't like this. I like this ship. I don't like this comic. It's disturbing. I exactly feel how they feel in the background. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways. Next one. Candid's cute. And I do think it's a too under- It's, it's underrated. Yeah, it's cute. It's funny because I'm kind of being a hypocrite by saying it's underrated because I don't care about it either. <laughs> it's like 50%. Okay, 50%. Don't care. Um, It's cute and I like that they acknowledged it in season two. That they acknowledged it as a possibility and I like that they had Mabel shipping it in uh, the Love God episode. That was like funny. That was a nice foreshadowing thing. Um... Yeah, this, I don't understand why people like, I, I don't understand why people hate this episode so much, Roadside Attraction. It made me really like Candy. She got her, she got a, this development that no one thought she was gonna get because we always thought she was just like one of those characters, like a background character. And I ended up giving her a lot of development in this one episode and it was just nice to see, honestly. And I kind of wish we had a one whole episode for development for Wendy. Because she was a main character. She wasn't just on the wheel, but she was in that in that photo you see of Grady Falls uh, in the theme song. So I kind of wish we had that for Wendy as well. I really like this episode personally because of all the development. And I know people don't like it because it's like... <laughs> A, f a little fun episode, but honestly, it it was nice to get this relieving episode right before things went to hell, because literally the next episode, at the end, things go to hell, so I think it was just really nice, and uh, about the ship, again, it's cute, definitely underrated, I don't really have a lot to say about it, um, I think it's really funny that... <laughs> Candy was literally like, you know, I lost interest as soon as you ran away from that thing. <laughs> this kid, I we we're not even on the Dipsifka thing yet, but remember in the Northwest in the Northwest Mansion episode, he was on the newspaper fighting a bat, 
And this kid is running away from the spider like, Candy, me too. Loki, under I understand. How how are we gonna run away from that? <laughs> I think that's hilarious. I also kind of wonder if they were gonna, if they were about to become a thing before she said that. Because it's like, he gets embarrassed after she says that. Like, oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> like, almost he was willing. That would have been interesting to see if it had happened. But we're about to go to the last one. And probably, I think, this, I think the second most popular to build up. But it's not disturbing at all. Unless you think... There was no development, which there was, and I don't like you for thinking there was no development. I'm sorry. This is my favorite one. Dipsifico wins. <laughs> Dipsifico wins. I know you can't tell me it doesn't win. It literally does win. Like, no, it's not. It's not canon fully in the show. They don't show it. But look here. Comic book. Rothos Mansion Mystery was so obvious. They definitely both gained crushes on each other. I thought it was just Pacifica who gained a crush. But if you read the, the journal. Read the journal. And read what Debra crosses off and everything. He he was getting. He felt the vibe too. They both felt the vibe. Um, then this came out. Their ship was teased the most as in actually happening. Um, it makes the most sense. I love these fan comics. Oh, I hate when they make Pacifica Yandere, though. Uh, she is a Sundere if they were in an anime. Are you kidding me? She is not a Yandere. Oh, reverse falls. And by the way, they said they were they um punish her with credit cutoffs and punishments, right? Something like that. What are the punishments though? People were like, Oh, she doesn't have development. All she gets is credit card cutoffs. I'm like, Yeah, but it also says punishments. What does that mean? That's really vague. I still headcanon and believe that her parents are abusive whether it's physical or mental abuse and she and Dipper deserve to be happy together I like the class difference I like putting them together they're just so cute and Pacifica deserves a nice normal life she deserves to be away from her crazy parents yeah this is cute. And I also like, I also like Mae Pacifica, by the way. This is about the people who are shipped with Dipper, but I also do really like Mae Pacifica. I'm kind of tied between them. It's like maybe 5% I prefer Pacifica. Like, this is my ship right here. But I like to head Canon Pacifica and Mabel also have things for each other. But like, that Pacifica has to choose. And she eventually has to choose Dipper or something like that. And it makes me sad to make her choose. But <sighs> I think it just makes more sense to me. So, yeah. That's it. Dipsifica wins, okay? Build Dip is 50% disturbing based on how you ship it. <laughs> Pines, this is 100% disturbing. Thank you for watching. Bye.